Welcome to Steph Reacts. I will be reacting to this video. The title of this video is Why the Industry Hates Nicki Minaj. No, Nicki Minaj, and why the industry is not only afraid of her, but also hates her. It's been a little while since we spoke about Nicki Minaj. The last time we spoke about Nicki, she was going through a couple public situations. One of them was that beef with Lache, as Kodak once called her. Bro, it's like, honestly, Nicki Minaj has been in a lot of beef. I think that's one of the reasons why she got a lot of hate over the years, because it seems as though the beefs and the pettiness, people don't really rock with that, to be honest. She's supposed to be the one that shows love. She's at that age where she's she done almost everything in the music industry. She's supposed to show love to everybody, bro. And I don't know what it is. I just don't know if it's an ego thing or what, but that's what it comes to. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day, to be honest. You guys remember that story? I, of course, had a lot of things to say about that situation. How that whole ordeal started was Nicki ended up submitting her record, Super Freaky Girl, to the rap category at the Grammys. The institution ended up rejecting her record while at the same time accepting Lotto's Big Energy record as a rap song. They were dead wrong for that. Nicki had some things to say about it. Latch. Lotto had some things to say about it. And I, of course, had some things to say about it myself. They ended up going at each other like it was a full-on beef, no vegan shit, right? And I suggest you check out that video I made on it over nine months ago. That's tough. I'll leave a That's link to tough. it in the description below. Now, that situation, just really looking back on it, kind of validated some things Nicki herself has spoken about in the past, which is the mistreatment she has received from the industry. And you know what? Up until that point, I never agreed with her and I thought that was complete BS but I think that situation to me at least right I don't know about you but to me exposed a couple things and validated some of the things she herself has expressed in the past I don't think Nicki Minaj is perfect far from actually but I do think someone who's as big and as successful as her speaking on the ill treatment she's received is automatically gonna make a lot of people look at her sideways because she's so successful and someone who's at that level who's already made it in the industry can't possibly be going through something like that right that's a lie. That couldn't be further from the truth. Also, the fact that Nikki is so vocal about the things she's not happy about makes her appear jaded and angry. That's probably one of the most mm. prominent pieces of criticism she's received during her yeah. time in the industry, especially during these last couple years. I think Nicki Minaj is a very intimidating figure in music, but more so in hip hop for the simple fact that she is a woman who's running circles around pretty much all the guys, except for the top dogs, which are the Drakes, Eminems, Kendricks, J. Coles, Jays, Yays, etc. Anyone outside yeah. of that she's been running circles around and that is really just a fact right not based on my Fox. opinion by the way i'm saying just looking at the accomplishments that's what it is i think being a woman like in Nicki minaj's case who's in a male dominated space comes with a couple of challenges one of them being she's had to toughen up so she's had to strip away parts yeah. of her femininity in order to compete with the masculine that is the hip-hop industry because hip-hop is a male dominant and that's honestly that's in the favor of Nicki minaj because there was a, there was a time that there wasn't really anyone competing with Nicki, and the only viable option was to um compare Nicki Minaj to the guys, and that's a, an accomplishment in of itself. Because honestly, nobody has done or even accomplished the things Nicki has done over the years, and excluding the Grammy, we all know Nicki is talented enough to earn a Grammy. But it's just it's just a fact that she's been running it for so long. I've been so relevant over the years. It's, it's crazy, bro. Minute of space. There are some other things I want to touch on regarding that. But first, like the title says, Why the Industry Hates Nicki Minaj. Sounds interesting? Like the video and subscribe. Let's touch on it. Nikki. So if you guys don't know, Nicki Minaj is actually gearing up towards dropping her fifth studio album. It's actually going to be the sequel to Pink Friday, which is her debut album. It dropped on November 22nd, 2010, so almost 13 years ago. She announced Pink Friday 2 about a week ago with this post right here. About a week Barb's, ago. I've been trying to find the right time to tell you this for a few days. Due to some really exciting news that I'll share with you guys at a later time, I've shifted the album date just a tad bit. Trust me, it'll be well worth the wait. But since I am shifting the date just a tad, I'd like to give you guys a tiny sip of some more album tea so that I don't have to get cussed out. So here it goes. My new album will be released on November 17, 2023. So this is going to be Nikki's fifth studio album and she's going to continue from where she left off. She came in a game with the big splash that is Pink Friday. 
It was really the start of an iconic run for her. She was 27 years old at the time of releasing that. Is 40 now, so she's been around, right? But she's gearing up towards dropping her first album in over five years. So right now, there's a lot of conversations floating around regarding Nicki Minaj. That's one of the reasons why I kind of want to talk about this, right? But one of the bigger conversations that's current right now is, of course, Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj. So Cardi B always somehow comes up in a conversation when we're talking about Nicki, right? Which I've always found very strange because I've never understood how anyone could compare these two. Honestly, I just think they're in two completely different leagues. And sometimes look I feel like people are really trying to set up Cardi B by comparing her to Nicki Minaj. But let's not get yeah. ahead of ourselves and let's explore this combo and talk, right? I want to continue the conversation by showcasing this clip that went viral the other day where Charlemagne the God was comparing Cardi B to Jay-Z. He was essentially saying that Cardi B did for female rap what Jay-Z did for male rappers. Ain't no Yo, I know where Charlemagne is going, bro. It's all about ratings and saying the most outlandish things. They get people to talk about it at the end of the day. I know he doesn't believe it, but it's just about the clicks, bro. The viewers bring viewership. They get people to talk about it, argue about it. The Bobs talk about it. The Cardi B gang talk about it. I don't know the name of Cardi B crew. I don't know if she have a crew name or whatever. But that's all it is. I don't, I don't think Charlamagne really sings that. Bro. And I'll play you a snippet of it. Check it out. Sneaky Cardi. Cardi shifted that. Cardi, Cardi started using that, that influence to... Cardi shifted that in the culture. And I didn't even think about that till you said it just now. But Cardi shifted that in the culture. Because Cardi made it to where, you know, you the OG, you the person that's made all the money, you sold all the records, but you have no problem putting your arm around that next person. Cardi did for female rap what, what Jay-Z and, and Drake did. You know what I mean? Like Jay-Z, whoever that... Whatever that next thing was out... So this clip started going viral. Well, honestly, let me let me say this. Um, I agree to an extent because Cardi B has shown favoritism to um, Glorilla when she first came out. Like when when Glorilla um dropped um Tomorrow too. Listen, that was fire. Like, I think that catapulted Glorilla even more, to be honest, because Cardi B did a thing on that. And over the years, um, Cardi, I mean, Nicki Minaj wasn't as, as friendly like that. I don't know what it was between the women. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I can see that, though. I can see that. On Twitter, which of course then prompted the same conversation people have been forcing, which is Cardi B deserves more credit for what she's doing for female rappers because, and that's where Nicki comes in, you can't salute Cardi B without discrediting Nicki Minaj. Nicki's obviously the standard for what female rap is today, so you know that makes sense. Nicki Minaj set the bar so high that the industry is now trying to bring the bar down so someone like Cardi B can actually have a chance at competing with a Nicki Minaj. And shout out to Cardi, she's very accomplished, has amassed a lot of great things for herself like having the most streamed female rap album of all time with invasion of privacy that on spotify fire. salute to her but the other side of that is she's only put out that one album until cardi b puts i think that is the downfall of that because when roddy rich drop his album listen <laughs> listen that track alone you know what track i don't even have to say the name so for the background noise, but I don't even have to say the name of that. Like, I think the artists themselves get in their head and they want to replicate what they did for the first album. And because of the overthinking, like Roddy Rich's second album wasn't nearly as good as his first. So I hope, I hope Cardi do good for us, like, because... Lord have mercy, the bobs are going to kill her, the internet is going to, oh my goodness, she better deliver, bro. This time around, she better deliver. It's up five of those over the span of 13 years and dominates every aspect of the music industry and becomes a cultural icon off of the strength of our work ethic like Nicki Minaj. I refuse to bring up that one, of course, really great accomplishment to put her against a head honcho like Nicki, who, of course, has a proven and lengthy track record that overrides a single accomplishment. Also, and I'm not making any accusations, but I'll say this, it is possible to pay for streams, but 
it's not possible to pay for longevity in music. It's one thing to accumulate a lot of streams, but it's another thing to shift the culture with the mere impact of your presence and records like Nicki Minaj while not being favored by the industry. And here's the thing, there are tons of women who came before Nicki, like Foxy Brown, who Nicki was actually influenced by, or Trina, or Missy Elliott, or the great and... That's it. <laughs> classy Lauren Hill, who's in a completely different lane. So Nicki yeah. Minaj ain't the first female rapper. However, she's of course the first one who's taken it to the extent she's been able to take it. So she's the one who provided the blueprint for all the women who are thriving in hip-hop as we speak, including Cardi B herself. Nicki Minaj, for anyone who didn't know, also gets studied by all the major labels when it comes to the development of their female rappers. Because she's been tested in the game, has proven herself to be an everlasting figure in the industry, and that's the ultimate goal for a record label. Not only are they hoping that they're going to sign this act, invest all this money into them so they can then recoup all the money back and some, but the ultimate goal is always we want them to have longevity. How do we make this new female rapper we signed reach that place? Well, let's start by studying the person who's lasted the longest, which is Nikki. Lotto's a great example of this. Lotto, who's considered one of the hottest new female rappers in a game by many, is actually heavily influenced by, you guessed it, Nicki Minaj. All the female rappers who are popping right now grew up on Nicki Minaj. But Lotto actually spoke on us. Eight years old. But then Nicki comes out. And you know, as a, at, at that age, like the Barbie theme and the color hair and like the, like it was just so animated. So it captivated me at, um, I wanted to say fifth grade, I think you like fourth, fifth grade, like eight years old, something like that. And that's when that put the icing on the cake. That's when I was like, oh, yeah, I want to rap. I want to, you know, I want to be like Nikki. I want to, yeah, for sure. I cut my hair in a bang. I got now Barbie chain, all that, for sure. But wow. the older I got, that's when I started going back into the female rappers that I had heard growing up. And I'm like, damn, I wish I was, I had that. Lotto is just one of the most popular women in rap who's publicly spoken about that. Circling back to what was said in that clip I played you, one of the biggest criticisms Nicki Minaj has received during her time in the industry is the fact that she hasn't taken a lot of female rappers with her to the top, meaning she hasn't collaborated with a lot of them, she hasn't co-signed a lot of them, and all around hasn't been too quick to share her success with the rest of the women in the rap game. She's doing a lot of that now. I mean, she bodied the hell out of Listen, she doing that uh, with Ice Spice too. Why all of a sudden, like, that's what I don't get. Like, the men and Cardi B, I don't want to get in female beef because that's kind of lame, but the facts are the facts. But the, the men and Cardi B immediately was going on a lot of features and everything like that. All of a sudden, Nikki, all of a sudden, is doing the same thing at an alarming rate where she wasn't doing that in the past. So all of a sudden, you have to look at she trying to change that image because Cardi B is doing the opposite of her and she's doing really well. That pound tongue burst. Oh, but my name is Pink. I made him go get that ink. Let him eat this baby pussy. Now he keep trying to link. From my point of view, this is actually a fair criticism. The thing about Onika is I think she waited too long to do that. Personally, yeah. I think Nikki has been so caught up in her own success to the point where the thought of bringing somebody with her has been the last thing on her mind. And I'm going to choose to not criticize her too harshly on that because not because the barbs are going to find me and put me in a body bag yeah. and dump balance in the lake. Kind of a little bit of that. You, I, I apologize if I offended any barb, but I'm just speaking what I normally um see. I'm speaking my mind, and I don't mean. First of all, I don't really care what y'all think. I just speaking the truth, my truth, what I've seen personally, not her personally, but what I've seen on the internet. I'm speaking my truth. YouTuber Blocky Speaks has been found dead at the age of 27 on Lake Mirage. He was shot and killed by the barbs after criticizing rap star Nicki Minaj in a YouTube video. Just to say that. Maybe because I think Nicki Minaj's presence, accomplishments, advancements in the rap industry as a woman alone, black woman at that, has by default allowed the rest of the women who came up after her to go and get it for themselves in the first place. What she did for all the women in hip-hop is she simply opened the floodgates so the water figuratively speaking, could start flooding in. The thing about Nicki Minaj is she's been so busy carving the path to the point where she hasn't 
had a lot of mental space to think beyond carving that space. I kind of look at it as if a person is the one like Nikki has been for female rap, how much exactly can one do all by their lonely while yeah. simultaneously breaking down the door so the rest of y'all can actually get in? The reason why Cardi B is able to first of all, have a career as a female rapper is because of Nicki. Let's just make that clear before we move on. I think that in itself is something people as a collective have to accept. Without Nicki Minaj's success, 90% of the female rappers making all these millions and having a fan base wouldn't be possible because Nicki Minaj is the prototype that all the labels are studying because she is the one. In relation to female rap, I see Nicki as almost the base ingredient to the main dish. If you don't have the things that made her successful in a female rapper that you're trying to break, ultimately the dish is going to be whack it's not going to be what it could have been otherwise so why wouldn't all the major labels study the playbook that's backwards. As for what I said earlier, I think what happened is Nicki Minaj waited too long because she was so busy carving the path, and in return, she was able to, you know, get to the top by her. And listen, listen, listen. Let's not um forget about the fact that she had Wayne and Drake on her side. Although Wayne and Drake came in around the same time, uh, she had male uh. Backing her, and that's why I think Cardi B was successful too, is because she had um, the Migos on her side too. Like she had that male influence. Anytime um, she would did a, she would do a song with the Migos in it, she would be considered like the female Migos because the flow sounded exactly like Offset or something like that. So it teaches on, bro. Teachers on. I don't think we have to necessarily knock one down just to raise somebody up. Um, I do wish, honestly, though, what would be more entertaining, I do wish, hopefully soon, that Nicki Minaj and Cardi B can do an album together. I, I do wish that because, honestly, if they decide to do that, that would break the internet, in my opinion, bro. I think that would be a clash where the barbs and the Cardi B fans will finally come together. And and I, I'm not talking about motorsport. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I want a collaborative, a collaborative album together. I, I think in our lifetime, if that happened, bro, that would be the biggest thing yet, bro. You don't understand, bro. <laughs> like, that, that surprised the world, bro. Only when she could have contributed so much more to the success of so many more women. Now, the other side of that is, there's actually two, but starting with the first one, she obviously doesn't owe anybody anything. And this is something a lot of people fail to bring up when this criticism comes into play. There is no such thing as Nicki Minaj had to bring anybody with her to the top. The only thing she had to do was to get it for herself, and in return, as she's making it, all these other women see the success and are inspired enough to get it for themselves. At the end of the day, we don't criticize all the guys in hip-hop for not bringing you know the people with them to the top why would we criticize Nicki Minaj so strongly for that part of the reason is of course because women are the minority in hip-hop hip-hop is yeah. a dominated space so as someone who's a part of the minority why are you not bringing us with you that's the logic here right but that logic also suggests that Nicki owes the world something which she doesn't the world didn't owe her a goddamn thing she literally got out the mud kicked down the doors and forced herself in this bitch when mm -hmm. doing so was unheard of that's why when Nicki Minaj initially came out although she was getting a lot of success because you know she had the whole young money machine behind her and the greatest rapper alive at the time put a lot of stock into her winning everything was like it always is at the end of the day depending on whether or not she performed and nikki damn sure performed beyond anything we've seen she was actually at the time getting a lot of pushback from the industry and i know this because i grew up on wayne and young money so when she first got signed i was literally sitting on my dad's computer on a forums soaking it all up because young money signed their first female act that was huge i mean that was a big moment for hip-hop because nikki was labeled as the chosen one even back then but everything was merely a matter of potential things could have gone either way for her she could have completely fumbled the bag on a first drop and became just another rapper who got shelved but it turns out that young money just hit the lotto and pink friday the project ended up pushing 375,000 copies in his first week of being out and this was before the streaming era so things could have gone either way but everything happened the way it happened and here we are in 2023 also remember how she was going on this tour with riri the last girl on earth tour Rihanna announced on April 5th, 2010 that she was going to bring Nicki with her along with Kesha. And this was supposed to be a very big look for Nicki since she was on the verge of becoming a megastar in the mainstream. Now, what happened 
was merely two days after Rihanna announced it, Nicki ended up pulling out of this tour and she got a lot of backlash for this. Because from the outside, you're this new artist in the industry, Riri brings you on tour and you pull out two days before? You ungrateful little thing. That's what the critics and the industry had said. They call it the biggest mistake of her life. By the way, she canceled it because she was knee deep in the process of working on Pink Friday, which she ended up releasing that same year and it all ended up working out for her. And before she signed a Young Money, there was this bidding war between several of the biggest record labels in the industry. Everybody wanted Onika to sign with them on a dotted line, and in the end, she did sign with Young Money in 2009 at the age of 26. Yeah. Listen, bro, about this, Nicki managed to do something really crazy with this deal, which is unheard of till this day. Despite being a new face in the industry and despite not having the most lengthy track record, she managed to strike a deal where she retained 100% of her masters. And on top of that, managed to sign a very favorable deal where her merchandising revenue on top of sponsorships, endorsements, and touring was all gonna go to her. A once-in-a-lifetime deal which essentially shook up the entire industry. This was never done before, but Nicki Minaj somehow made it happen. The biggest reason as to why she locked this deal down is because she simply knew her value and banked on it. Young Money believed in her enough to make it happen, but that was only possible because she believed in herself first. And Nicki wasn't the hottest thing on the planet back then. She had a few mixtapes behind her name and a couple semi-big records, but her potential wasn't known yet by the world. But she knew what she wanted for her career, she knew her worth, and so she made it happen for herself with the help of a great legal counsel. Oh man. Securing this kind of deal while not having a lot of leverage as a new rapper who is a woman, that's huge. On top of that, she managed to avoid the infamous 360 deal, which a lot of female rappers are stuck in. Some of the most popular ones, mind you. And this is a very big part of this conversation. And the reason why this is a very big part of this conversation is because of this. Till this day, Nicki Minaj has actually never received a single Grammy, which is crazy to think about because she's got nominated over 10 times and has never won a single one. Now, the reason why Nicki still hasn't received a Grammy is because her success doesn't really feed into the industry. I mean, the terms of her contract literally contradicts what the industry is about, which is make us money. And if we're not benefiting beneficiaries of your success, what incentive do we have to put you at the forefront? Once I understood this one aspect of Nikki as it relates to her time in the industry, everything kind of started to make sense. And now it does make sense why they didn't want her record to be on the same category as Lotto's, because then they would have to give an award to Nikki. And that doesn't make any sense because she ain't making them any damn money. As far as this Nikki conversation as a whole, as it relates to the industry, I kind of stand on two different sides. I understand where the criticism she's received is coming from, because at the end of the day, Nikki hasn't had the best approach to addressing some of the injustice she's faced. I think her approach in a lot of ways has been when I'm not getting my way, I'm going to scream at them and put them in their place. This is an aspect that has turned a lot of people off from Nikki because the second you start, yes, that was me barking because I'm a dog. Start barking, that's how you give them the exact reaction they want, and now this will be used against you to label you as crazy, no matter if you're telling the truth or not. On the other hand, if she doesn't raise her voice, who's gonna do it for her? Nobody, right? Just like how no one kicked the door down for her, no one is gonna fight for her to get hers. And that's one big reason why I always respect Nicki Minaj. Despite all the things people have thrown at her during her time in the industry, she never once budged or let herself be strong-armed by the many opposing voices in the industry. At the end of the day, if there's one thing I've learned about the music industry after covering it for almost seven years now, it's that the industry doesn't like anyone who doesn't serve them. If there's one thing she's managed to do, it's just that not serve them. Nikki serves herself, her audience, and her own agenda. She's done so by not conforming and following suit, which disrupts the natural flow of the business. Anyone that rattles the cage usually get booted the hell out, but not Nikki. She owes her success to nobody but herself. She made it happen for herself, and I think she has every right to protect the position she worked so hard to be in. Anyway, like the video if you- Yep. And I don't want to say it or anything. I just like the fact that um, growing up, that's basically what a lot of guys, especially my age, listen to. I know um, Nicki Minaj was like that female. Although she was a female, she she could slide in the male category, but like seriously, she was that gifted. Like all over the radio, all over parties, she even um, 
there's some tracks with um, Jamaican influence, although she get Caribbean ties, like that helps and all, but that don't um, give the fact that Nikki was just good. She just was good. Uh, she came in the right time, in my opinion. But anyway, this is your boy Steph, and I'm out here. Peace.